Hey and welcome back to Toby's Video Skills with Toby. Thanks for watching. Today's video we'll talk about the all top overlanding equipment, privacy shower or privacy cabin or shower cabin or whatever you want to call it. This thing mounts onto a car and gives you privacy for, I don't know, changing, a shower, whatever you want to do. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because we will head out um, for a camping trip for a couple of days and I have a water tank. I would of course like to take maybe a shower, you know, on campsites where they don't have showers and stuff like that. Maybe it was a very sweaty day, who knows? Or you just want to change, you know, standing up, not laying in a tent. You know, all those luxury, luxury things you want to do. This one will help you with this. We'll test and check out how easy it is mounting it to the roof rack of my Jeep. This is maybe something you also want to do or not. But first thing is, we'll open it. Um, it did came in a cardboard box, obviously, pretty small. I did throw it away already. I don't think unboxing is necessary. That's how it came actually in the box. So we'll open this one up and see what parts we have and what parts we're dealing with because there might be some drilling necessary for mounting it to the roof rack. That's the tire of the Jeep. This material is kind of a rubber material I would say. It looks like it's water resistant, I hope so at least. It does come with um, this aluminum back here. It should mount to the roof rack somehow with those channels here. We'll see what parts we're dealing with. And when it's mounted it's just hanging. So we'll see it later. So we open it now. All right, first thing I encountered. All top, overlanding equipment, privacy shower tent, full out pivoting frame system for quick instant setup. By the way, first comment about the aluminum tracks and also this, uh, this cover here. It feels pretty good, pretty good quality I would say, as of what I see now. Then we do have a connector, cigarette lighter. Interesting on off connector switch, I guess. Oh, that's why, interesting. Okay, it does come with an LED strip connector over here. I have not seen that. And what else here? I think everything else should stay inside as of now. As soon as we have mounted it, we can unfold it and check it out. This fits like it's mounting hardware. And actually is some good feeling brackets. Two of them. Then we have something to hook the entire tent to the ground. When I fold it, I'm pretty sure. What else? We do have bolts, bolts, washers, and nylon nuts. And two more of those brackets. Let's see if we need them. And then we have two times, that's interesting, we have two times wrenches, third, same size. All right, let's see what they recommend, how to mount it. Packing list, practical design, assembly instruction, that's good, fitting guide. All right, so I think this is what do you want to look for? Fitting guide. Option one, mounting directly onto a roof rack. And the second option would be mounting directly onto roof crossbars. And then we have option three, mounting directly to a reinforced steel alloy canopy. Option four, clamp onto the roof rack cage. Okay. I do actually have a really good plan already after reading this a little bit. The hardware they deliver with it. There are four of those small bolts which will go straight into those channels. There are actually four of those small bolts, which will go straight into this channel. What you need to do, and I'll show you this one first. So it is, it is so simple. You just have to open this Velcro connection here, this way, and then there's another one this way, and then this one. And what you can do is just slide the shorter screws, the ones that provided with it, just slide them in with the head in, two on the top track and two on the bottom. And then when you close it, you want to make sure that it closes nice and tight. 
properly seals well there we go uh, you can slide it in on either side so that's totally fine i just put it in to prepare for the rest what's to come and i thought about what's the best way to continue and my initial thought was i will just um, extend those holes just drill in with a bigger with a 5 16 drill bit and just you know expand those holes and use their the screws are basically half for the other stuff i used so far and just use them the m8 stuff the m8 screws but also the m8 square nuts so that's what i thought i started with drilling trying to expand this hole and I have to be honest this steel is insanely strong and my equipment didn't make it i think i burned uh, two and a half <laughs> two and a half drill bits so i have to go with a different solution so what i did i did get instead of m8 i got those little friends m6 and as you can see them those are kind of not square but they are rectangular and they do fit in the channel nicely uh, link in the description below of course and they're a little long so sadly i ordered the long ones i the shorter ones on the way and i will use those nylon loctites basically to lock it down and what that will look like let me show you because that's the next step we have to do now oh, when you look up there you can see it already so at the moment i can't move it around you can see the the bolts are a little long so um i will go with the shorter ones i will put also the link in the description below and i'm just using the nut on top uh, on purpose i did not bolt them down yet because i'm not sure how far i have to go in or out my intention is to use all four holes because that will give extra strength especially with giving the fact that there's you know you're driving there's wind and stuff like that um, just want to be super prepared for that to give you an idea why i've decided to go with this crossbar as well as the last one there is a pretty simple reason i'm here on the passenger side right now and i want to have it as far back as possible because i will have either will have the water tank in the middle or up on the roof rack or i will have it mounted to hitch when it's mounted to hitch the hose is not as long so i want to have it back here and i thought okay on this side it's good on the other side i might get you know other another project in i might get another project in maybe some kind of awning or whatever i'm thinking about so we'll see so that's what i'm doing and i checked with the size with the length and i think this is pretty decent um, might be mounted like this i could go low but i figured it's better because you know my head is up here it's probably better to go a little higher which is good lower might be better for the wind or something but going up here just to give this extra room and also to open the door so we'll mount this one back here and i'll show you step by step how i did it it's very simple i think that looks good i think that gives you an idea as well the first and easiest thing is for sure take your bracket put in the first bolt as well as the first nut just hand tighten nothing crazy because in that case now you can just slide it in and this one just has one way how it goes in and you can slide it in and it will not fall and now you can just leave it there and get the other bolts yeah, now i can get our nuts put them on and tighten them a little bit down and uh needs to be a little bit more than hand tight and i'm lazy as always i'm taking a 10 millimeter and i do not want to oven tighten so i'm mode of getting installed you want to install it like this the logo should be readable the super should also um, be downward facing because that's how you want to open it so there are two indications how to use this and you want to line it up here to the front first at least that's what i'm doing try to align try to align both bolts at the same height and then put it in here we go and then i can rest it up here hold it here get my washer and my nut ready put it in back here and hand tighten 
the nut. And do the same with the lower one or higher one, whatever you do first. In this case, it makes a one person job. You do not need a second person if you don't want to, or you don't, don't have a second person available to help. And tighten it, there we go. And I'll do the same up there. And now you want to align those bolts as well to the holes, the bracket. I have uh, everything laying up here already. So I'm putting this in here. And tighten it. In. One. And here's number two. There we are. When you look there, it is kind of aligning here a little bit with the rear mirror, but I want to have it pushed back as much as I can um, to see what I'm talking about. You can see that it's, there's little, still a little space. There's still a little space up there, uh, which I want to utilize, so I'm pushing it back in. And also you want to tighten, before you tighten everything down, you want to tighten the brackets down um, to finally align it. Now I'm hand tightening everything. I don't want to over tighten it. Nice and snug. All right, now putting it back in again, just to make sure it works. All righty. Let me give you a tour. All bolts tightened down. Those ones, which I will replace with the shorter ones when I, once I get here. Those are the ones they delivered included. Those brackets hold in place. I hope pretty solid. Then we have here our all top overlanding equipment, privacy shower. We have those ones down here. Might make some noise, we'll see. And then we have on the other side here as well. Same. Nice. This one is holding up here pretty well, I hope so. Feels sturdy. What I've not done yet and what we do to now together is opening this thing up. I have no idea how it looks like. So we'll do it together, open it up. Let's do it. To still give you an orientation, this is really big, okay? We still have Probably the roof here we have here some uh, angle angles which you have to tighten down. So we do have up here um, those things you have to push in so that they don't, don't move. Need some help. And we have here this kind of cover. And what we have because you can wait a second. Let me let me go on this side here. You can see it's. When I'm a woman, I'm not. But then you could see my upper body. So we want to get this a little higher. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed, guys. Okay, now I have a problem. How are we getting in? <laughs> um, Let's see, we do have some zip ties on this side. Yeah, I think that's the one. Perfect. Since we're in a garage, it's hard to use those anchors to anchor down and it's not as windy, but you can, you can't just anchor them down here. There's a specific little hole, a little holder, which you can use and then you can anchor down. Depends on how high you want to have. Then depends on the clearance you want to have as well. If there's no wind or anything and you just don't mind, you know, keep it as it is. But it does have, here on this side. So that's why I'm going in. That's why I'm standing in. Wait for it, there's more. This is impressive. Oh. It just velcros up here. And Velcro's down here as well.
God, this is so much fun. This is, this is so cool. <laughs> this is an actual privacy tent. This is an actual privacy awning. And you can see it, there's some small movement. You could lower it a little bit more down. You don't have to use this cover if you don't want to, you know. Um, let me try to give you a tour inside. So you can go inside here, you know. And when you look around, hey, hey. So when you look around here, that's upright, pretty well designed here. You have a little thing you can open up or not if you want to. Um, if you have a van, if you have anything else which opens up, hey, amazing, you can keep it open. They even give you here a little uh, pouch where you can place some things in here for shower or whatever. Same here on the other side, which is pretty cool. For me, it is a perfect size. So you can see there's a little gap. You can, you can just use the anchors and tighten it down. And when you want to get out, it's just a matter of opening this one up, zip it down here, and there's all. And that's all there is to, man. Wow. Oh man, let me tell you, I'm so excited to use this. I'm really excited. And there's a reason why I did this today. Because next weekend we're going for a camping trip. So this one will be with us. It will be mounted, I will test it, and I will have a follow-up video on how it actually performed. But just the way and how you install it, it's, it's really easy, it's really simple. You just have to figure out the different options they give you on how to mount it to your roof rack or to your roof of the car. That's all. But I think, thank you for sending us over. This is an amazing product and I'm really excited to test it even more, to follow-up video as mentioned. And now I'm taking it down and see how it performs, if there's anything wrong with it. But if not, you will just see the end of the video. So let me take it down. This is the last part of the video. Oh, by the way, if you want to subscribe and like the video, totally happy with that. Not saying no. Thanks again. Tschüss. That was quick.